This video goes over the new features of uh, Power SDR 2.72 KE9NS Revision P2, and I'll go over the new features first, but I'll go over all the features. So the first one is this auto waterfall. Now it does both receive and transmit. It adjusts the water level. Like you see, this is too bright, and that happens if you change antennas, let's say. Uh, the uh, waterfall low level is too bright, for the particular uh, level of the band right now, about 100 dB. So if you click that, that'll instantly take the average of that and put that in and save it. Now, you can also do this for transmitting. Key up the radio and you can see normally it's very hot. If you hit this level, that'll adjust that down. So now it's, now you can actually kind of see it. Now that actually is putting that in to a new feature called the TX level. This is the TX low level. So if your transmit has a low level. <clears throat> uh, RX2 also has a low level, that's a new feature. And the high level is really just for the receivers. The high level for TX is zero dB. So it uses your new low level, minus 66 in this case, and then zero will be your high level. So that's the uh, auto auto feature, and it saves all that. Now, the next uh, feature is uh, grayfall, and it's just grayscale waterfall. And the reason is the reason I, I switched to that is to show you the, uh, the the TX water ID. That's where you transmit a, a call sign, a text, or an image into the waterfall that somebody else with a SDR could receive. So you go up into this box type in let's say your call sign when you move your cursor out it turns red that means it's computing the image and green means it's ready now that will change if you change from upper sideband to lower sideband it needs to re it needs to flip the image but when you're ready when you this this describes how it all works but when you're ready when you click that it will transmit it'll key the radio it'll narrow up your pass band to two and a half kilohertz and then it'll readjust it back to its normal width when it's done. If you had VAC1 on at the time, because that can't be enabled while you're running this, VAC1 will turn off. So it's best if you have VAC2 to use that if you, if you really need to have it running. But it, it just disables it for a second and then turns it back on. Now, we can also transmit images. And the folder you store those images, well, to get to that folder, you right click this, this comes up here, but down at the bottom is a folder where all the skins go. This happens to be a folder, though, where your database goes, so you have backup database there. There's a database, uh, currently it's uh, KE9NS4, that where all the things that I've added where they save in that folder. And also your quick audio from the record play button, that goes there. So you can always do a control C, control V if you want to copy. Control C copies, Control V paste, you'll get this, and then you can rename this if you want to save any of your quick audios. But your bitmaps go there that we're going to transmit, and they're either 24 bit or 8 bit. I've got a uh, test pattern, which is like an old fashioned television test pattern. Uh, test P24.BMP. Okay, well, you put that in there. Now I can change the name, Test P24. You put the decimal point there, but no BMP, just the decimal point. It turns red, it's computing. We wait for it to go green, it's green. Now I can hit the transmit, and then it'll transmit in grayscale that test pattern, and there it is. It shows up a little bit better on the, on the grayscale. Now, you know, you, we took it to the folder for the audio and the images. Now, if you go into appearance you set up appearance your skins if you wanted to say let's say download the skin that I've got here uh, the folder that you place it in while well, you put your cursor over the top of the skins and you right click and you'll get the folder and it's called skins and that's where you dump your skin folders in here and then you reboot power SDR and then it'll appear on the list when you open that up the next feature right now we're we're basically just showing the the data as it's coming in it's not averaged 
so in this case, we click the button and now average B for both, meaning the in the panfall mode, you've got average done on the, uh, the pan adapter and the waterfall. And the averaging time is in, in the uh, display. Here's your averaging time right there, 250 milliseconds. But I added another feature that if you hit that again, you get average P, which is just pan adapter averaging. So you slow that down so it doesn't look crazy. But now you get uh, better data, much cleaner data here that shows up better with the uh, when you're transmitting images rather than doing averaging. You can see data better, uh, RIDI signals and CW and so forth if you're not averaging it. So that just toggles through the, the three different modes. The next is frequency entry. So if you click to highlight that now, instead of entering in megahertz, where you'd have to say 7.199, you can do seven, let's say 200, and it puts the decimal point in there for you. So you can enter things in kilohertz. Now uh, we have a radio station here called a, uh, uh, AM 780. I can hype 780, and there's the AM radio station. Let's flip back to color. So there's an AM station there, so you can, you don't need to type in megahertz. You can still type in megahertz if you want. Uh, 3850, now we're back on the 80 meter band. And uh, again, uh, in this case, due to the antenna I'm using, I'm, I'm using actually the wrong kind of antenna, so look what happened, I lost my waterfall. I can hit the auto adjust, and then that will bring the threshold back into line so I can see things a little bit better. Anyway, that's frequency entry. Uh, we've adjusted the meters for S9 when you go on to the six meter band. So the S9 reading is a negative 93 dB as opposed to a negative 73. Uh, we've got different meter types as you've already seen here. That's uh, a TR7 meter type. If you click the meter, you can cycle through. Here's the original edge. It's a little bit bigger than it was before. And then here's the, uh, the new analog. And when you key the radio, let's say uh, uh, we're in ALC, it's kind of color coded. You get a green, forward power, blue, and then uh, reflected power as well. SWR is yellow. And then for the receiver, we've got the normal meters, but we've also got the signal peak, which is what we're seeing here. So you can see that there's a red needle that's kind of holding a peak. So that's it with the meters. Then the next is the waterfall move. So as I move around, you see black spaces, which basically there was no data. But the idea is that all the signals move with the waterfall. Now, let's see, I gotta change my antennas on. All right, so now I'm on a better antenna here. Okay, so. When we move around, all the signals travel with the waterfall. So that's the waterfall move. So if I if I jump over here, it moved everything back, so it's all still lined up with the pan adapter signals above it. That's what the waterfall move is. And we've added uh, panfall. Well. When you enable RX2, you divide the screen into three and you get a pan adapter and a waterfall for RX1. And then the last mode is we've enabled the pan fall for RX2. So now we've divided the screen into four and you get a pan adapter waterfall for the top for RX1 and a, a pan adapter and a waterfall for the RX2. And again, you can hit auto water. That'll reset the uh, water level for uh, for both and it saves it into the display the low level for RX1 which is the original one and then RX2 it has a low level for that as well so it saves both of those and uh, you can also click over here turn off these power meter readings if you wish and then over here you've got a temperature and voltage if you click on that uh, and you wait the time period that you've got for updating the CPU, then that'll show you your PA uh, temperature and voltage. And then the update rate is in the display here, your CPU meter. I got it updating every two seconds. 
and then you click again to turn it off and then you gotta wait till the update period and that's it those are all the features